Hello coders, this is your instructor. Just a quick review of how to code for anesthesiology section of your CPT manual. I have a quick question here. A six month old patient is administered general anesthesia to repair a cleft pellet. What anesthesia code or codes should be used for this procedure? Remember, to understand the coding for anesthesiologist, you have to understand the correct key terms such as the age of the patient, the kind of anesthesia given, the procedure and the location okay this is just to get started there are much more um, um, things that we need to code for anesthesiology coding but for now make sure you remember and understand that and we'll proceed from here the steps to coding for CPT anesthesiology section remember we always go to the index then we go to the tabular which is actually the, the section of the book that you're going back to I always use tabular because I know it's used in ICD, but sort of going back to the main section. So first thing we do is go to the index. We look for the main term. Remember, main term is always the first thing we do in the index. And for anesthesiology, I want you to remember that you will always look for anesthesia as your main term. Okay? Anesthesia is your main term. Under that, you will always look for the location. This is how anesthesia is uh, given and provided to you in the book to locate because remember anesthesia anesthesiologist is not the surgeon he is the person who is just keeping the person asleep so you don't have to know the exact extensive name of the procedure most of the time the only thing known is the location but there are uh, differences where you can actually find the exact look exact procedure or sometimes just the location it depends once you come to the anesthesiology section in the tabular or the front of the book you will look for the location or if you have found the code ranges and also apply the following if you can see and read the bottom it says apply your notes make sure the all the key terms that we located are there we look for the physical status modifier we look for the provider modifier if it was the doctor giving the anesthesiologist or was it a crna Certified registered nurse uh, anesthesiologist can also be a person who can give anesthesia. The type of anesthesia given, general, local, qualifying circumstances, which I'll show you in a bit. So here we are on the anesthesia section. If you can see that this is our main term, anesthesia, right? Under that, we are looking for the cleft pellet repair. We can also look, look for the cleft pellet repair as, it, as per the name. We can also look for the pellet, which is the location. We can also look for the repair. So as we go down, we are following the ABCD, and we are lucky to find the cleft repair, cleft lip repair, the cleft pellet repair, right? And you can see that the code says 00172. Okay, so this is um, the only code given to us, easily found, but if you see that we have different locations and we have um, different code or code ranges given, so whatever you find, we are ultimately going back to the anesthesia section of the book. Okay, so as you can see, we have the um, anesthesia section of the CPT manual. You can see the code ranges on the top, okay? It's the best way to find the code is always to look at the top of your book wherever you land and follow the code ranges. This is the very beginning of the book and you can see it is right after the red section which is your evaluation and management. You can see that, right? So if you follow the anesthesia, do you see how it starts with the head, right? So the subsections of the look of the anesthesia are actually the locations only head neck thorax intrathoracic spine and you are uh, organizing your mindset for anesthesia according to the location so let's follow the code we were supposed to find remember 00172 so we're just kind of going down and we are looking for 0072 and there it is it says repair of the cleft pellet right and you can also see that the first code the mother code which is usually the one 
that is giving you major information. Don't forget to read that. This is very confusing for anesthesia because sometimes the main code will give you everything. You never have to come down to a to the subcode, which is you see how it's intent indented. Um, the seven seven one two is indented, and the mother code is anesthesia for intraoral procedures including biopsy not otherwise specified let's say if we didn't have any of these given right there was no cleft repair there was no excision or none or none of these given as per the code that we are looking for we would have chosen 00170 if we had no other choice but since we do have an exact code that we are looking for we will choose 00172 um so, okay, so we have all our key terms matching, right? We have exact code repair, which is our main, which is the keyword we located. We have cleft and cleft palace. So we are good and we have the correct code. In CPC exam questions, you will be given choices, okay? And you can see the code that I'm going to choose is 00172. I have two 00172s, I have 170, and I have a 176. When I have the exam question, I'm going to look for all of them. If I'm in the exam, unless I'm very sure and confident, I will look into every code, make sure which one is the correct code, and if it, one of them is not the correct code, I will not be choosing it. Other choice, as we discussed earlier, was 11, um, sorry, 00170 which we already discussed, that's not the right code because we have a one more specific code given. 00176 is radical surgery. We have a specific code. We are not going to choose any radical procedure since we will have a wrong answer. So what is 99110? Okay, remember for anesthesiologists, you have to have a physical status modifier and um, qualifying circumstances. Where are we finding them? Where are we are going to locate them? Let's review that. Okay, so we're back on an anesthesia section of the CPT manual. And I want you to turn the page backwards. And as soon as you go back, you will see anesthesia guidelines. Um, these are good guidelines to review and understand the CPT coding. The most important part that we're here for is to find the anesthesia modifiers. And you can see the anesthesia modifiers are here. We have physical status modifiers. We have qualifying circumstances. The physical status modifiers are from P1 to P6. The anesthesiologist will write these for you. Either he will write P1, which is for the normal healthy patient, or he will write a healthy patient. And you have to find the P1 for him and assign them in the coding for anesthesiology. Remember, you are coding for anesthesiologist and you are finding all of these things. These are not for procedure coding. These are only for anesthesiologist codes. Another co code or modifier we need is the qualifying circumstances, which is the age dependence. You can see if the patient is younger than one year old, you are going to use the add-on code 9910. Or if he is more than 70 years old, you are still going to use the same modifier. It is something to do with the payment, but we have to make sure we add this. Otherwise, the doctor does not get compensated enough from the insurance company. This is really important to understand, and this is your qualifying circumstances. And you, will, you, you are seeing that on my answer sheet because remember, our answer or our coding was for six-month uh, baby. So what's the answer? Pause, think about it, let me know. The answer is C, 00172-99100 was our qualifying circumstance because the patient was six months old. And this is the exact same description, luckily, on the anesthesiology, which says repair a cleft pellet. You have to practice the location. You have to see how to code for anesthesiologies by just making sure you have enough question answers done from your textbook so you understand the coding process. I have given you some information that is very important to begin as coding for anesthesiologist. One more thing I really want you to remember is the level two national modifiers and this is for 
the providers, okay? You have to have a modifier for the providers because is anesthesia, it could be the doctor, the anesthesiologist himself performing the procedure or, you know, doing the procedure, but there can also be a CRNA, okay? And sometimes the anesthesiologist can be doing concurrent anesthesia procedures, which is all together at one time in different rooms. Depending upon two, three, or four, you will assign a modifier QK. If it's medical direction to one CRNA by anesthesiologist, you will assign QY. QX for the CRNA service with medical direction by an anesthesiologist. So remember, this is the CRNA doing the service. This is medical direction given under supervision by anesthesiologist. This is QZ is for the CRNA services without medical direction. And QS is for MAC services, which is under anesthesiologist. Um, um, I kind of don't remember exactly, but read it in your HICPIX book. If you go to page 98 in your HICPIX, you will find these modifiers on that um, page under national, level two national modifiers. One more important thing I want you to remember is when you do CPC exam, they will definitely, definitely ask you for the anesthesia time. Anesthesia time is calculated for the duration of when the anesthesiologist took over and when the anesthesiologist gave the person back to the nurse. So as soon as the patient is brought in and put to sleep, the patient is under anesthesiologist um, supervision and he is the time we start calculating the time from there onwards and these are again given to you in your um, textbook the information is posted in your textbook the information is also posted in um, in your guidelines make sure you review those times because you will you will have a question for this in your CPC exam don't forget there are different kinds of anesthesias local or topical which just a kind of uh, maybe an injection given, moderate conscious sedation. Actually, the MAC that I was talking about is moderate conscious sedation. That is what this is. Kind of just left my mind for a second. Regional anesthesia, general anesthesia, minimum sedation. This is just a review of your CPT steps of coding. And uh, you can review that, apply the understanding, remember it, and write it down on your anesthesia section of the CPT manual so you remember what needs to be paid attention to. Um, keep in touch with me if you have any questions, and uh, I'll be more than happy to assist. Um, good luck. Take care.